Happy September 6th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party fought off a squadron of five insects. These were some of the enemy soldiers who exploded out of a tower high above Crown Spire. We defeated four of them. The fifth fled to regroup with its allies, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The swarming insects in the courtyard obstruct your entry into the castle. Luckily, guards have arrived to stand against them and protect the critters. Uh, more combat. Oh, and there is, there is a backpack icon here hidden in the image. So let's see. I haven't had one of these in a while either. Let's see what we found. Amidst the hubbub, we see a satchel laying there. We take our time to sort through it and see if there's anything of value while the city is being attacked. Um, it's okay, we have 10 virtue, so we're good. Here we go, backpack. Uh, we're going to roll a 10-sided die, and somewhere, here we go, 10-sided die, 4, warding ointment, <laughs> that adds to our defense, I think we already have, a f we already have 2 of those, that's a 3rd, so where's our equipment, here we go, warding ointment, over here we are up to 3, Add plus two defense on a single roll. May come in handy. And... All right. Here we go. We've got... Oh, five insects again. How do these... Okay, they're slightly less armored. We've got 15s and 16s. So oh, there's an 18. Um, health is about the same. So, all right. Let's begin. Enemy one, with a swift motion, the insect slashes at you with a curved falchion, aiming for your exposed side. We want to beat a defense of 16, and we do with a 17. All right, now we want to roll damage. We get Ivy gets 2d12 plus 2, and we're hoping to get 15, and we do 15. The first enemy goes down just like that. Enemy two. Using a glaive, the insect lunge, lunges forward. Lunches. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm hungry. Using a glaive, the insect lunges forward, attempting to hook and pull you off balance. He's got a defense of 15. We get a 12 plus our attack of 8. We easily hit him. We're hoping to do 14 damage or more. And we do 10 plus 2 is 12. Can we get some more damage? We have a solar flare, but we also have three party members who can help with damage. So we should be able, well, I was going to say we should be able to get two out of this, but these party draws are so um, not guaranteed in the slightest. I need two points. So if Brindle comes through, he does plus three damage, he will get the job done alone. We need a club greater than or equal to six. And that's not going to do it. Uh, Kit could do it. He'll roll a d4 if he draws a club greater than or equal to 6, and he does. All right, so Kit hits and open for 3, Kit. 1. <laughs> okay, uh, and Vinny will only get us 1 point, so we're going to have to use our solar flare. Um, let's use the solar flare. That's not guaranteed because that's just going to let us roll. Let's see. Solar Flare. Add D4 to a single damage roll. So anything but a... Wait, how many? <laughs> how much damage do we need? 10? Uh, plus 2 is 12. We're hoping to do 14, so we only need 2. What did Kit roll? He won't roll to 1. So the Solar Flare will do it. But we only need 1 point. Should we try Vinny and save our Solar Flare? Guys, it is so hard to remember for some reason how many points. I think I'm going to use a marker or something. We're going to use, well, yeah, I think I'll use the six-sided die to help me remember <laughs> how many points I'm trying to get. So I think we need one more point. Um, let's see, Vinny probably needs a club <laughs> greater than or equal to something ridiculous. A seven. 
Can we get a club greater than or equal to seven? Out of Vinny. No, and it's a face card. So he takes a point of damage, and uh, that takes him out until he rests, I've decided. So, because he only has two health. All right, Solar Flare will do it. We don't even really need to roll, but we'll do it anyway. We get a one, and that's just enough. And we mark off one of our surges. We've got three left. And that's two enemies down. Three to go. Enemy three, the insect wields twin short swords, striking in rapid succession, forcing you to defend yourself from multiple angles. All right. Let's see. Defense of 18. This guy's tough. Seven. That's not going to do it. Well, plus eight is 15 attack. All right. We need three more points. <laughs> Uh, that's going to help a lot, I think. <clears throat> okay, we have... Oh, we can do this. Well, we got Enid. Let's try Enid. She came through yesterday. I think she'll only get us two points. <clears throat> um, so... Actually, she only gets us one. Um, and we have our Radiant Blast, and we have a Combat Tonic. We may as well give her a shot. I've already opened the page. Oh, and look at that. We need a club. <laughs> Greater than or equal to seven. Nope. Seven of spades. Um, right color, wrong suit. Okay. So now do we use the combat tonic or one of our abilities? How many combat tonics do we have? Um, I have one. And the radiant blast, the surges will re populate more easily so they're basically free they don't cost us any amber so let's do a radiant blast add d4 to a single attack roll i need to remember we have the boon die as well and we need three points right so let's do the radiant blast three we get it excellent <clears throat> okay and that's another surge gone and that's the third enemy down Two to go. Enemy four. Armed with a heavy morning star, the insect swings the spiked weapon overhead, aiming to crush you with its weight. He's got a defense of 16, so... We are one. I believe that's an automatic failure. We're not going to get close anyway. We got plus eight, so we don't hit this guy. Um, so now we defend versus his attack of 18. Wow. Oh, 19. Excellent. We do defend which means we take one point of damage instead of three from his overhand attack with his heavy morning star. So we're down to 23 health. We'll write it over here. And last but not least, enemy five. Holding a mace, the insect delivers a powerful overhead strike, the spiked head of the weapon aimed to crush through your defenses. We want to attack against a defense of 15. We get a 19. That hits. We are hoping to do 15 points of damage. And we get 14 plus 2 is 16. We take out enemy 5. That's four of them down again. Uh, you entrust the guards to handle the lingering insects as you make your way inside the castle. If you killed four enemies, collect a D8 plus 4 amber. Uh, here's an eight-sided die. <laughs> One. Okay, well, that's the way the die rolls. Takes us to, what is it, D8 plus one, so we get two. We're up to 54. All right. Well, that, my friends, is September 6th. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.